this video gets 200 likes within the next 24 hours, I will be posting two episodes of my reaction to Gintama the next day. So make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And let's jump into the episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> now they're the ones who are being intimidated. <laughs> so Atosha was there. <laughs> How can <laughs> <laughs> How come she didn't, she's not complaining about the noise, the destruction of the apartment? <laughs> <Damn. laughs> but I don't want to piss off Umi Bozo because he is one of, I think he is the most, one, the most powerful. Oh. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> From a father to a brother <laughs> to a crab lice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's going to be attack on Titan. <laughs> Why are they venting it out on each other? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, this too. <laughs> He's very proud, this guy. Oh, but this might hurt Kagura if she's hearing this. I wonder if she'll take this. How she'll take this. Oh, man, that's, that's brutal. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh man, pushing Bachi. <laughs> oh. Man. oh. <laughs> Man, Shinpachi is on point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're diverting. The <laughs> I guess they're, ve they're very immature compared to the prince because he's more frank about what he's saying. But this is the. <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man, um, we both so in white, Yaksha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're, you're declaring a war right now for threatening the princess. <laughs> Which one, Jimmy? <laughs> Man, Gintoki. Oh. 
<laughs> They're going to destroy Earth. Oh no. This is really like an attack on Titan, but on a different level. Man, this is that that scene reminds me of that One Punch Man moment with um, the space pirates. Yeah, you need to stop Umibozo. Yeah, <laughs> man, this is so hype. Whoa, this is so cool, though. We're going to have a, bat a battle. Oh, man. Yeah, you need to be. You need to fear, not the Titans. But only Boso and Gintoki. Man, but this this fight is going to be in a whole another level. <laughs> but where's uh Ketsuno Anna? <laughs> his his whole mouth is almost exactly Kagura's whole head. <laughs> Oh <laughs> man, and you pissed off his father. Oh, <laughs> nice one, Shinbachi. <laughs> no. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> yeah. Man, this is getting emotional now. <laughs> Father's glasses. <laughs> oh, I guess he's considering himself as. Kagura's father as well. Oh, it's raining blood. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's so epic. And the spaceship is falling down. They're already there. <laughs> that's so cool. That's a cool shot. おお。ええ、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で
I guess that's the end of the arc. I thought that this is this Pororo Rihen arc is like 12, 13 episode arc. So I guess it's just different stories again, different scenarios, which would be really great. And because I was really surprised that it's that I guess the title of the of the 13 episodes like Pororo Rihen arc. So I guess Pororo Rihen arc, arc is just a part of this. And uh, yeah, I'm. It's a. Uh, I'm really enjoying this um, arcs so far. I these two episodes, and I'm just trying to cherish it, cherish, cherish the moment that we get to have this wholesome, funny, um, crazy, goofy episodes, and uh, yeah, just showcases at the same time. I guess the family, the bond between Kagura and the Yorozuya um, and even Umibozo and it's really cool showing that I guess eventually Umibozo and Gintoki working together <laughs> yeah and I, re- I really love that line from Shinpachi that yeah that they need to stop those two because they, they might er- eradicate a whole race of the titan so yeah it's such a great episode and fi- I guess fine final I guess finale to the arc and also plot twist I guess with regards to Kagura's boyfriend and yeah I guess his character I think that's the the important thing and I guess if it's if his um character is decent I guess uh, it would be more acceptable for Gintoki and um, Umibozo even though it's still very hard for them but I think seeing his character being like that being possessive being rude even to Kagura so I think that's that was the b- deal breaker for them and even for Shinpachi and uh, yeah it's like such a cool really cool um, concept with them I guess finding the bride in a planet and then destroying everything on that planet to eradicate the gene I guess the spread of the genes so they want their genes to be they're it's like they're boosting their genes to to become an exclusive thing and if they had Kagura, they already ha- they almost had Ayato, so uh, yeah. Um, I, I forgot the race again. I think they're the tight the tight. I guess that it's, it's just like the Titan. So yeah, it's, uh, I never expect and the scale of that spaceship and I guess the Titans, man, it's really. I thought that it's going to be like a more, um, I guess more scenes of fight, but I guess they just showcase that. I guess that's already a cool scene with them showing the the, the titans falling down with the rain of blood <laughs> coming from the spaceship. So that's a really cool scene and just showcased how strong these two guys are. That you don't want to to um to piss them off and yeah, I, I also love Shinpachi. I, I guess he's that's his way of sh- showing I guess his own position, recognizing his own position as like a father also to Kagura. So I just love their dynamic and their relationship. And also, I guess it's somewhat, because most of the time it's about Kagura, I guess, um, recognizing that. I think we, ha- we also had an episode like that before with the cell phone, with the umbrella. And those, those, those moments with Kagura are really wholesome because... Remember, she is alone in this, in this, in the earth, and she's, she is farther away from her real father, and her, she already lost her mother. So for her to experience this, I think it's a good thing for her. Especially, I guess knowing uh, about Kamui's character, I think she's like he's like the opposite of that. If if Kagura never experienced the love that she had right now, I think she might she she could have eventually become like Kamui. And uh, I think that's the downside of uh, of that. If she never experienced all of this, is that we did saw that with Abuto when she went berserk on that uh, Yashiwara arc. So yeah, I'm looking forward for more arcs like this, and I want to um, enjoy them as much as I can and appreciate them because I thought I know that this will be like the last episodes that's going to be like goofy. Um, them messing around. I wonder if the the serious arc would still have some jokes. I don't. I think if if they remove that, it would definitely feel different. It would definitely set the tone very different and uh, 
I'm really scared for that because definitely if they do that something something bad or something crazy is about to happen because uh, Gintama even in serious arcs they usually goof around they they mess around um, but I guess it we, it might still come but I guess to the point where it won't be as as goofy as the usual and uh yeah, uh, that's pretty much it with this episode. Um, how about you guys? What do you think about it? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And if you think I have missed some details, just let me know as well. And if you did enjoy watching my reaction, please leave a like and make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you want to support the channel and also have the benefit of full length and early access to action, you can also check it out in the link in the description, description down below on my patreon if you decide to support my channel it will really help me be able to sustain this channel create more videos like this in the future so thank you again for watching see you in the next video have a great day